to me, it means a lot. It's a beautiful thing to see that you can get all the bubble bands to come um, come together as one and just apart. It's something that Pueblo really needs, and we have it now. It's good to have a festival here, and it's amazing with what's going to happen. Seven days is going to be pretty fun times. <laughs> um, I think Stress Fest is going to be a positive thing on all our community, on all of us musicians, on everybody that's trying to put forth local music and, you know, do something positive for everything. I think getting all together like that and having a bunch of artists together are really going to, you know, show what we're all about and how good everything can be. And I'm looking forward to it. So Red Fest pretty much means anyone that have given an inch to making some kind of art is more than welcome to show up and they're always welcome. All these artists and musicians finally got their own festival in this tiny little town set up because one little Cambodian motherfucker had the courage to do it. Sareth Fest is Sareth and we owe him thanks. I think it's really great for the fans because it um, promotes all the local artists and helps them hear new things and they get a place to go and enjoy themselves and listen to good music. Well, to me, Sareth Fest is a thing of beauty. It only comes around once, twice, three times a year. And it gives us a chance to go around and showcase all of our talents, no matter what type of talent it is. It really strengthens the community. What does Red Fest mean to me, the community, and well, it uh, it gives the comics a great outlet to uh, show that we're artists too. Uh, even you know, if our medium's a dick joke, I'm gonna paint the best damn picture possible. That's what we do. That's what we do. That's what Red Fest does. Gives us an outlet to do that. You know, Colorado's blowing up right now. Sareth Fest is just a, you know, that's just a pedestal for everybody to jump up on and get their name out there, more exposure. It brings, it gives the opportunity to bring new music and to make people aware of everything. So by you putting this festival on, it's gonna benefit the whole community. It's gonna bring business. It's gonna put the local talent out there, and we're all like very excited for it. Well, the first go around, it was more of a farewell party to our good friend Sareth, who moved to Florida, unfortunately, with all the crazy people. We have plenty of crazy people in Colorado. I don't know why I moved. Um, but what it really means to me is a celebration of comedy, uh, music, just the arts in general, for Pueblo to be on the map. So I guess it's a really good opportunity for people, for people from all over Pueblo to get together and celebrate each other's art, and there's not nearly enough of that. I think uh, Swiss Fest is pretty cool. I like that we're all kind of coming together. It's not like just one scene, like, and then it's against these other scenes. It's, it really does bring all the scenes that I'm invested in all together. Um, I support a lot of uh, small businesses here in Pueblo. I, I'd like to say that I was a small part of the metal scene. You know, I'm, I'm a bigger part of our comedy scene, and um, I've, I've been invested in the, the filmmaking scene too. So it's really, it, it really encapsulated like me as a whole because I like everything about it because I, I have been trying to promote Pueblo, and I think that's what it does too. Uh, I guess it's just a cool way to get everybody involved and just do some mic time and have a good time. That's really what it means to me. Like, uh, it's really cool that you're, that there's something going on in this town where everyone in the art performing scene can get together and kind of just have a good time and see some shit maybe that they would have normally have seen or wouldn't normally go out to. So. That's pretty cool, man. Sareth Fest is Pueblo coming together. Sareth Fest is the music scene and the artists and everybody around here being able to come together, be one, and put on a damn show for Pueblo. Uh, anybody like entertainment, it means like, like local, like support your locals, support, support real, support the real. I'm looking right here <laughs> on my video. <laughs> it says support the real, support anything local, support anything coming up, 
anybody that has high hopes of being anything. Um, so Rathvest means to me personally um, community involvement. Um, it, it means it's a huge gathering of uh, all the people in Pueblo coming together, all the great creative minds. Um, willing to contribute their time and order. Uh, it's basically for a good cause, you know, we're all getting out here. Um, so Reth is helping to promote the music, you know, and uh, have involvement from comedians and uh, different types of musicians, not just one genre, um, you know, getting like six venues. Uh, that's big stuff, you know, it takes a lot of work. Um, so to me, really all in all, so Reth Fest is hard work, community involvement, good music and kicking ass. So Reth Fest is a combination of so many different artists, so many different creative talents, a network of people that are always trying to do shows, always trying to be busy, always trying to move forward artistically. And it, it puts them all in the same area. And it gives that back to the people that, that crave the music, the fans, the people that we do it for. You know, I think it's, it's, a, it's most primacy that we try to do this for them. And so Reth Fest is the, the conglomerate of all these different people coming together for one common cause, whether it be music, comedy, it's all basically the same. It all takes a whole lot of different writing, a whole lot of thought, and a lot of talent as well. I think, personally, I think Sareth Fest is something that will continue to grow as long as we continue to grow with it. And I think that's a very important thing to have today, especially in our market. You know, uh, Sareth Fest means a bunch of local artists from Colorado, Pueblo mainly. Um, doing really a cool thing, you know, getting together, all collaborating, all working towards the same goal. Of course, with you at the head, you know, kind of dictating and presenting a really good platform for us to be able to, you know, present our music and present what we do, artists do, filmmakers do, anything like that. It's just a, it's a really good opportunity for everybody to get ahead in life, you know. And it, I thank you a lot for putting this together for us. What do you mean to me, like, Sarah Fest, online, like... I, it is just awesome to see like just everybody come together and be able to support one another and build upon the music that we got here because we have a scene that really hasn't been seen in a sense you know what I mean and it there's a lot of good stuff here and I feel like we could blow up you know what I mean you got the west coast you got the east coast but you know just we're doing it different in the squared state so I gotta say like from all angles you got like you said comedy to the, to the journalism to the music to the art to oh my god there's some cats doing some shit with TV around here they just don't get the opportunity you know what I mean so check YouTube but yeah 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 it's it's important to, to be able to foster this even in your own backyards because you gotta support local all day uh, it's a good opportunity for artists to come together and just have fun and do what we love. And it's good to see everybody every year and hopefully this all keeps getting bigger and hopefully everyone gets to benefit from all this. It means getting together as artists, uniting as one, different genres, getting everybody from the whole artistic community together, rocking, and it's just all about unity together, man. Especially for the homie Wu Man Chu, always keeping it real, you know, putting everything together. It's really amazing, man. Up. Well, speaking for me and Brownell, um, honestly, I feel like there's a lot of talent in Pueblo, and um, it's really great that Sareth can bring that, you know, bring that out in a way, and try to, you know, have that creativity in a professional and just, you know, great way. Sorry, <laughs> I'm lost for words, and I'm an MC, but, uh, but yeah, um, to me, I like to see that as a community, we can all come together different genres of music we can come together trying to make something really great and um, you know try to support each other because I think that's something that is really needs to be done in Pueblo as our, all the artists you know filmmakers no matter what you know you are if we can just support each other this is, and I think Sarah Fest is like the epitome of what this could be you know make it bigger every year to me it's community you know like Seeing you come back in town, seeing all these people that are going to be here tonight, it, it's a, it, it's like a, a gathering, you know. Um, I, I wasn't there for last year, but everybody that I talked to seemed to have a great time. So I, I'm, I'm looking forward to this year, and we'll see what, it, we'll see what happens. Um, I, I just hope that you guys 
come back next year. You know, like this ought, this ought to be an annual thing. Well, I think it's great for all of the performers to have an opportunity to, you know, be seen and heard. Um, we, as a small business, and helping to host this, are so excited because we already know a lot of the comedians because we do comedy here, and we know a lot of the musicians because we do live music here. So it is such a perfect fit, and we're just really looking forward to it. Well, uh, Sareth Fest is a culmination of community. It's uh, no better place to find people coming together, and that's what art in the community should be about. You get all these musicians who work together and network, and then all these different venues that get to bring in business and give us musicians a place to play, and it's just a wonderful thing to have that. And for myself, I get to play. I get to play with the best people around here, and it's, it's really cool to be included in that group. Um, Sarath Fest, man. It's uh, about community, about friends. It's about growing our scene here in Colorado. Um, allowing people to express themselves uh, with their original material, collaborating with other musicians that normally we wouldn't collaborate with, whether it's sharing a stage, sharing a set, um, and then uh, just, you know, working with the Sarath man. You awesome. know, just making it happen. And to me, uh, networking with different musicians and people and making friendships and bonding and making set lists and uh, combining everything as one whole, as a community, and letting people know what the music scene is in Pueblo, and also being friends with Sareth. Sareth Fest, it's, I mean, it's awesome. All right, last year there was, it was three days long, and packed of local Pueblo musicians, comics, everybody. Uh, brings out the best of the local, you know, Pueblo scene that uh, not cover bands, no people telling other people's jokes, it's original and brings everybody together, it's a beautiful thing. Oh, Sarat Fest means to Pueblo what Woodstock means to 1969. Um, it's a wonderful opportunity for artists to come express their original works with a community that's open to hearing and appreciating it, and a way to bring attention and support to our community. It's a really wonderful festival that I think a lot of people are really appreciative of Sareth Nave for putting it on. We appreciate that very much. Sareth Fest actually means, it means a sense of freedom. It means a sense of, of creativity and ex and a form of expression that's going to actually not only help the artists open up but help the community open up as well whether it's discussions or or whatever form of art or whatever form of, of talent and skill you have actually giving you the opportunity to to want to express yourself and to find a crowd and sensibility of people who care. I don't, I don't think that's the right word I said. But it's to, it's to find the crowd that has the sensitivity and the sensibility to care. Yeah. I concur with them. They said it really well. It is a time to gather people together and uh, opportunity, to, opportunity to express ourselves and not have to do covers that are pre-approved and BMI paid for. And it's thrown by this guy that I just barely got to know and he's done a lot. And just the few times that I've met him actually in improving my outlook on life and togetherness of this community. So that's what Sarath Fest is, is the togetherness of this artistic community. Thanks. You know, Sarath Fest, uh, especially to us being new back at Phil's, it's, uh, it's, it's kind of the whole reason why we came into this place. It's, it's taking all the local musicians, uh, bringing them back home, making it as big as we can. We started doing comedy at the open mic nights in the, the last week of the month because comedy is hard and nobody wants to do it in their place and it gives these guys a chance to come in here too and to put it all into one big package. It's like our own uh, our own local festival and it's uh, it's really fun, it's really cool and it promotes everybody on a, on a real proud level. Um, I think it's important that all the musicians are teaming together because I think that we separate ourselves um, you know, different genres don't necessarily work together all the time, and this is a good showing that everyone is working together. You know, man, it's a great gathering of like all of us 
you know, everyone's an amazing person. They're expressing their true talent. You know, we, we all love Sarah and everything that he puts together, you know, all the reviews for all the bands and the comedians. And it's just an amazing thing for all of us to get together and come as one in the town because, for one, it's all just Pueblo bands and, you know, we don't get that often. I mean, especially this is going to be like a seven day thing. I mean, this is going to be pretty intense for us, but you know, we're all ready for it and we're really excited and can't wait to see all the other coverage for everything. Just thank you. Yeah, I, I think it's a sense of community. It's, it's someplace safe and uh, a place where, for people to get exposure to and provide exposure you know, to, to the local artists. You know, I think Surat Fest benefits the community by just bringing people together, people that usually don't get along or people that don't understand art, you know? Opens their eyes to, like, the creative world, you know? It's things that people don't really think about, like art, you know, drawing, painting, music, illustration, uh, poetry. Shows the expressive side, I guess, to everything that people don't really understand. Um, I don't know, I'm just thinking how beneficial this would be. I personally think it'd be really beneficial. It's like an awareness thing, you know, a message to everybody. That's about all I can think. I'm really simple, I don't... It's about bringing people together. It's about giving the power of entertainment back to the individual. Oh, I see so. I do believe it is about different crowds of different people coming together as festivals should be. That's yeah, awesome. and it's, it's, it's people working around. together. It's uh, collective entrepreneurship, which is the best thing. And it's by my friend Sareth behind the camera, so that couldn't be better.